And thank you. Dolly Duffy has been the director of the Notre Dame Alumni Association for 10 years. Welcome to the show, Dolly. Leanne, it's so good to be with you. 10 years has gone just like that. I bet. So tell us, what does the Notre Dame Alumni Association do? You know, I'll probably start by saying that it's an incredible blessing to work for a university where they frame the work of the Alumni Association as true and pure engagement, for engagement's sake. So we do all kinds of things where our focus is how do we get alumni parents and friends engaged in the life of the university in ways that are meaningful to them. How large is the alumni network at Notre Dame? So we have about 152,000 alums wow. and, and all kinds of parents and friends. It's pretty big. I wouldn't think it'd be hard to get people to want to be involved because there's such a pride about attending Notre Dame. You know, it's interesting. That, that's one of the, in, in, in many ways, it's the reverse challenge of my job. So I talk to peers who say, we just can't get them interested. We can't get them to volunteer. We're having trouble filling this. Mine is, how do I find enough opportunities for the vast number of people that just want to be connected back and touch Notre Dame? Yeah, you would think that a lot of college friends stay in touch and, and that they learn about what's going on at the university that way. But why is your job important? Well, they do, and they stay in touch with, with certain areas, but we have the ability to survey all of our alumni, which we did a few years ago, and find the areas of, of interest for them. So let me give you an example. We started something called Think ND, and Think ND is a um, platform where we brought together all the digital academic assets of the university, where people who have said for years, oh, I just want to go back to school, I just want a little bit of that magic, they can tune in anytime, night or day, and pick from the, the large menu of things and watch classes and watch various things that would be of interest to them. You yourself are an alum of Notre Dame. What is your favorite part about being a part of that alumni network? Well, I, if, I, if I look at it from my role as an alum, not the alumni director, it, it's the people, right? It's always the people. And I am going to have a really, really exciting opportunity coming up this summer. So there are um, eight women from Breen Phillips. We've known each other since I arrived in 1980. And I hail from uh, rural South Dakota. So they spent most of the time giving me a hard time about a place on campus called the Corn Palace <laughs> in Mitchell, South Dakota. So now, to celebrate our 60th birthdays, all eight of us are taking a week, and we're going out to South Dakota to celebrate. Oh and, and that's my story, but that story plays itself out over and over again. I can't tell you how many groups send me pictures and tell me about their gatherings that they've been doing for decades. Yeah, friends for life. Yes, absolutely. When you were a student in the 1980s, what was your concept of an alumni? You know, I, I don't even know that I knew, but one of the things that I distinctly remember was when I came when I came to campus as a freshman, I had never been here before. So I didn't have a, a real sense of what the Notre Dame alumni network looked like. But when I got here, there was a giant sign that my, uh, my predecessor, Chuck Lennon, always made sure was up, and it just said, Welcome, future alumni. And so that was began my thoughts around what does that really mean. But I never in a million years thought that I would be in this position um, and, and be blessed to do it. So how did your Notre Dame education prepare you for this role? Well, I was a history major. I thought that I was going to go to law school, but having an arts and letters, um, and, and really, I can talk about it from an arts and letters, from a history standpoint, that it prepared me to think. It prepared me to um, ask questions. I could read, I could write, I could do all those things. But I think that that's probably something that's all across Notre Dame. When people leave here, they're, they're ready to tackle the hard things. So how can Notre Dame alumni get more involved in the Alumni Association? So in many ways. There's so many different opportunities. I would say um, sign up for Faith ND. We have 106,000 people every day that get the Daily Gospel Reflection and, and read that. That's a start. Get involved in your local club. Come back for a reunion. We have a big reunion this year because it's a combination of the reunion that we haven't had, so we'll have like two five-year classes and the 25-year class, but we're also going to celebrate the 50th anniversary of co-education at Notre Dame, and so we'll have a huge number coming back for that first weekend of June. Start there. If you haven't signed up, come back. Yeah, and that celebration is for all women who've attended yep. Notre Dame. Every, every year. Since, since the beginning. How fun. It's always fun to be connected and to relive those memories of being on campus. <laughs> and it's always fun to watch people reliving their memories. It's just like so, so joyful. Yeah. All right. Dolly Duffy, thank you for taking time to talk with us today. Thank you. All right. Bob, over to you.